Okay, today we're going to learn how to record uh, drum grooves in real time in Logic and um, some uh, recording settings. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a software instrument. And um, select um, any drum track is fine. Any drum patch, I mean. Next thing is uh, we are going to select a two bar cycle. Make sure your metronome is enabled and set uh, an appropriate tempo for recording, whatever that may be for the, true, the groove you're trying to record. Next thing, uh, we're going to go to the recording settings dialog. To get there, you click and hold the record button, then you'll see there record settings. Now there's two very important settings. First of all is that of pre-count. So right now I have it selected to one bar, feel free to if you want a two bar count before you record, you can do that or any of the other options listed below. And uh, our first example, we're going to do a layered recording approach using kick, snare and hi-hat. So uh, we're going to keep that on merge only and cycle record, uh, which is what it was set to right now. So the next thing we're going to start doing right now is going to record our kick, snare and our hi-hat pattern. There's kick, snare, hi-hat. And here we begin. Simple pattern here. Kick. Okay, and as you can see, with every single pass, it was just adding the, the new MIDI events on to our um, onto our region. Now, uh, if we go in here and look, we're going to see that uh, our MIDI event. So here's our snare, our kick, and our hi hat. Now, something that's really cool about MIDI is your ability to be able to manipulate time. So one of the first things uh, we're going to do here is we're going to rubber band all the events and. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, use an effect, an effect called quantization. Now what quantization does is it approximates the notes to a given, uh, to its nearest value specified in the quantization settings. So just to give you an example, if you look closely, some notes are a little bit behind or a little bit ahead of the, of the grid. Um, and that's normal, I mean, that's but um, that's the human feel of recording. But uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to quantize it, make sure that everything is metronomically um, on the beat. So I s highlight all the notes, I rubber band them, and I'm going to select an eighth note quantize. What that does is that approximates all the notes to the nearest eighth note. I can also put it to quarter note quantize. Or some of the funner ones, which uh, like swing. Okay, so the advantage of uh, of all this quantization I've been doing is it's not destructive, you know. Uh, so I can, if I like it, I can keep it. If I don't, just turn it off, and that's one way of quantizing. The other way of quantizing is actually just selecting the, the, the notes, we're rubber banding the notes, and just quantizing, in this case, we're just going to quantize the hi-hats. No, and maybe I just want to keep everything. Or quantize everything again. So that's quantization. The next type of recording setting we're going to use are going to be uh, take folders. So go to record settings and select take folders. Take folders is going to allow us to do multiple takes and this time instead of doing the layered approach I'm going to do the finger drumming approach uh, of um, three different rhythms. This first rhythm Now, if 
if you noticed on every single pass, uh, what it did is it muted the previous one so it wouldn't get confused. And now here we go, there are our three different passes. First one, there's my second one, and my third one. And uh, whichever one I keep, I just highlight it and then I close my folder. And then I can quantize uh, this as well. In, in other um, videos, we're going to get into other quantization settings uh, such as this that you can see over here on the inspector. Um, you see it says here quantize. It's exactly the same quantization that we use down here, uh, except that, you, um, again, not destructively. Uh, yes, I want to quantize the whole folder. And there we go. Now, the last recording setting we're going to be looking at right now is this one which is create tracks in cycle record there's one right below it that's creates tracks in mute in cycle record but uh, we'll see what the differences are as we get into this so what I'm going to do here is I'm, again I'm going to do the layered approach of recording and start layering um, instruments on top of each other so I'm going to go with kick first And you get the idea. Now, the advantage of this type of recording is that with every single pass, I have uh, individual regions corresponding to the individual instruments. So, if I don't want, uh, you know, if I don't want to hear those congos, those bongos, I can just mute them. Keep my regions intact. Actually, my snare was on the bottom now. Wow. So um, you get the idea. And um, one good thing about uh, this type of recording is that, for example, then I can, as I copy regions later on in my song and I'm assembling my drum track, I can uh, make it dense and not so dense by just uh, grabbing my different regions. So Logic gives you many uh, possibilities for programming, but these are the ones I wanted to start off with today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Alejandro Sanchez Amper, Assistant Director of Commercial Music at Florida Atlantic University. And um, keep requesting those videos and uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.